everybody, Andrew Piotrowski from Engearment.com and today I am out in the gear barn and I have this pack from Patagonia. I've been a big fan of Patagonia pack for a long time. My ski packs are Patagonia, some of my other running packs are Patagonia, but this is the first adventure type running pack that I've ever tested from them. Um, I guess pretty much a fast pack to be used for. And this is the Slope Runner 18 liter. So it's built on the same Slope Runner chassis as their uh, vests but this is a little bit bigger obviously at 18 liters so this pack is perfect for things like uh warm weather fast packing um you know adventure type running where you might be going out let's say going out in the mountains for i don't know 30 40 mile run and you need some extra gear extra layers um it could fit a helmet inside it it can hold an ice axe on the outside it could be good for alpine type things um super comfortable pack i've predominantly pretty much used it for just running on trails um this past saturday i ran 10 miles in it um with the dog had some extra food some extra water was meeting some friends afterwards i actually just threw some extra clothes in here and i really really enjoy this pack so let's kind of just go over the features and then we'll kind of dig in a little more on why i love it. so let's start with the front so in the front here you have this system doesn't look really much different from a lot of the vests that are out there on the market right now for running so you have four pockets in the front these this larger pocket that has this water bottle in it the, it comes with two of these bottles these are the 500 milliliter 17 ounces they're awesome they're shaped so they are easy to go in and out of these um, which is awesome um, i believe these are yeah they're hydro pack and they do a great job. I love these. I've used Hydro Pack in all of my different vests and all of my different runs. Um, great bottle. Moving forward. So that pocket's big here. A lot of times I will run with one water bottle on this side and I'll stash my phone in the other side. Um, has this other pocket right here that can be used for anything you need to get a hold of easily, right? So I have my Garmin InReach in here not too long ago. I used that for a run. I each typically will stash like food on this side. I got, you know, some stingers, things like that on this side. Really convenient pocket system. Um, holds a lot actually in the front. And these are, they're stretchy, but they keep stuff tight enough. So one of my complaints is with some other packs and as packs age is that things in the front that are heavy will bounce around in here a lot, sometimes bounce out. I have not had that at all at the Patagonia pack. The other day I had my, my phone and my wife's phone on the one side and a bunch of water on the other side. I didn't have anything bounce around. Everything stays super tight. So it has these adjustable straps here that you can just unclip and move up and down and make them fit whichever way you need. You know, if you need something lower, higher, whatever's comfortable for you, these are adjustable. Simple design, right? Just two buckles, boom, ready to go. Love that. Um, on the, both sides in the front here, you see these bungee system and these loops here can be tightened to hold things like ski poles, right? So there's some pictures of it. I'll share one in the, in the review where people will fold their, their hiking or running or ski poles up. They'll go here. Um, you probably could also stash another bottle or maybe you need a rain jacket if you're running in some pretty bad weather. Really good system out on the outside here for holding gear. And then let's move to, oh, I'm sorry, before I forget, has this nice fabric here, super soft in the back, not abrasive at all, dries quick, and is pretty breathable, um, which I enjoy. So moving to the back of the pack, you have this bungee system here and here, which easily holds a smaller ice axe. Um, I don't know if I put a gigantic mountaineering ice axe on there, but... I think people are, for the most part, getting away from them and getting some more nimble stuff, something like the ski mountaineering things, which are a little smaller. Um, I will post a picture in the link of my ice climbing ice axes on here and a more of a bigger mountaineering ice axe. But again, it's built to hold that, you know, ice axes, hiking poles. Maybe you're, you know, using this for an overnighter and you want to strap, I don't know, a tent or something to the outside, you totally could. Put your helmet on the outside if you needed to. Great, great system of storage. And you get a lot of space out of a pretty small pack. Now, go to the back here. You have this, this drawstring here. Super simple, right? Patagonians work really hard on being 
as simple as possible. Put everything in here, cinch it tight, one big pocket. So I have this thing stuffed pretty good because I wanted to show you some of the things it could do. I have this thing loaded up like I was gonna go on a warm weather fast packing trip, solo maybe, or you know maybe with some friends. And I just wanna show you all the things that are in here because it's a lot. So you open this up. Okay, from nice wide opening, you could shove a climbing helmet in there if you needed to. So I have this bag, my Garmin inReach, water filter, you know, some hand warmers, stuff that I generally carry when I'm out in the woods or running, skiing, whatever. Come back, I carry a pretty good sized personal medical kit. Um, I'm not gonna go into that, but it's big. It's a big med kit, but plenty of space. Biggest item in here is my tent. Got a Sola tent here. Light fits right in there. What else we got in here? Some gloves, always helpful. Houdini jacket, some extra layers. Got my pack liner or bivy, whatever you want to call it. I like to use something thin like this in the in the summer. Obviously, wouldn't use this in the winter. I carry a pretty big sleeping pad now. I know there's ones that are much smaller and lighter than this, but it's what I have, and it fits. And then I think I got my pillow. So that was a lot of things in a small pack. And I actually think I could have got some more layers if I wanted to fit like a super light sleeping bag in there. Probably could push that in there, spare socks, anything. So there's a lot of space in a very light pack. Now let's get to the function of this. So when this thing's loaded up, it doesn't sag. It still stays high up on your back. So my complaint with some packs is when they get heavy, they sag, things bounce around. Not with this pack. Everything cinches down really tight, fits in there nicely, and doesn't rub, doesn't get uncomfortable. And I think what I also really, really like about that is that it's kind of plain. You know, there's not nothing super flashy to this pack, right? There's not a you know a giant fluorescent green stripe in a thousand pockets. It's simple. I like the black where it's just plain, not too flashy and just very, very useful. You know, they, they didn't put anything on here that you don't need. I used everything, they, everything they put in here, I used, and nothing more, nothing less, which I think is perfect. So if you're looking for a pack to use, you know, I, we're in winter here in the States, but if you're looking for a pack to use for maybe even like some light hiking, um, some backpack, fast packing, maybe you're going on a long run with friends, I'm gonna do, some kind of big eight Appalachian Trail run this, probably early spring, something in the 50 mile range. I would definitely be using this because it has so much space for extra layers, extra food, you know, depending on what the water is, I, you know, I can hold a little extra water if the water sources are far apart. So just a super versatile pack from a great company. And I will put some more links to this and some additional details down in the review below. Thanks, everybody has a great day.